Welcome to CAU TV News Break. I'm Danielle Wiggins. Three people are confirmed dead and at least 82 injured in a massive highway pile up in Florida that involved dozens of vehicles. The chain reaction crash occurred this morning when a combination of fog and smoke from a nearby brush fire brought visibility to zero on Interstate 4 between Tampa and Orlando. A spokesperson for Polk County Safety said a 14-mile section of I-4 is closed and as many as 10 tractor trailers erupted in flames due to the pileup. The prospects of this year's presidential elections have drawn many voters to the polls. Newsbreak star Toner spoke with the voters about registra re registering to vote and the difference their votes will make. In the 2004 presidential election, people between the ages of 18 and 24 had the lowest percentage of voters show up at the polls. Let's see what the young voters have planned as we near the 2008 presidential election. I feel this election in 2008 is different from any other one. Most are very optimistic about voting and that every vote will make a difference in this election's outcome. Um, I plan on voting just because I feel like it's my way to contribute. Um, everybody's voice can be heard and people complain because they, they're not satisfied with the outcome, but most of those people who complained weren't even the ones who got out there and voted, so just I feel like I can do my part in getting who I want elected elected. I plan on voting because I'm very political and uh, I have high hopes for the candidate and plan on voting for. The one thing that might inhibit the excited youth is voter registration. I feel there aren't, that there aren't enough uh, young people are, are registered to vote. I was registered to vote a couple years ago. I registered when I turned 18, but I'm not sure if it's still active. In Georgia. I definitely think that people are ill-informed about this deadline. I actually just got a text message from my mom yesterday reminding me because she wasn't even sure that I had registered, but I, I feel like I had never even heard of that beforehand. Tara Turner, CAU TV Newsbreak 23. If your weekend plans take you into downtown Atlanta, you won't be alone. Thousands of people are in town this week for several events, including the Atlanta Boat Show and the Monster Jam. Meanwhile, the Atlanta Thrashers and the Hawks have home games Friday night and over the weekend at Phillips Arena. Roads could get even more congested when DOT crews continue ongoing construction projects on the downtown connector and the 14th Street Bridge. To avoid potential delays, consider taking MARTA. For the first time in seven years, President Bush has made his way to the Middle East. Stay tuned to hear what he has planned for the visit. Stephanie Jemison is one of the most feared women in Bangladesh. She's applying pressure, and it feels pretty good. Stephanie is a member of Amnesty International. When she sends an email to the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, innocent people might not be arrested and tortured that day. And if enough members write in, maybe they'll be set free. Join Amnesty International during our 40th anniversary and pressure human rights abusers to stop what they're doing right from your home. Amnesty International. problem with your friends driving recklessly? With your friends endangering your life? I'm here to tell you that reckless driving is the number one cause of teenage deaths. But with new and improved Slow Down, you don't have to die. He's right. We should slow down. In the real world, there is no spokesperson to prevent reckless driving. There's only you. Speak up. Can't pay attention. President Bush has arrived in Israel to start his Middle East visit. The president hopes to expand upon last year's Annapolis Peace Conference by putting Israelis and Palestinians on a course for a peace agreement within the year. Air Force One touched down at Tel Aviv's Ben Gurion Airport, where the president was greeted by the top Israeli officials. This trip comes just after days of an American-born Al-Qaeda follower released an internet message calling for a reception of bombs and traps. After holding talks in Israel, the president is scheduled to meet with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Thanks for tuning in to CAU TV Newsbreak. Call in your comments and news suggestions to 404-880-8909. Join us weekdays at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'm Danielle Wiggins. Newsbreak is produced by students in the Mass Media Arts Department of Clark Atlanta University.